Hello. Um, first of all, I wanted to point you guys towards a video that my girlfriend Katerina put up where she asked me questions about herself in a boyfriend tag thing. Because you guys seem to care about me and my opinions and you seem to care about her and her opinions based on the previous video on the channel where she talks. So, uh, go to her channel and look at the video because you might be interested. Uh, I want to make a video about autism and vaccines and also diets because I recently saw a video where a woman claimed that her child got autism because of the vaccines they gave her and because of that she would not uh, vaccinate her other child. She refused to, in her words, let anyone come there and tell her different. She, she wouldn't listen to anyone that said anything about vaccines not causing autism. Uh, because she was so sure of it. She claimed that based on, you know, videos of her child, you could see that the child had Asperger's, I mean, or autism, after the vaccine. But before the vaccine, uh, the kid didn't have autism. Saying that you get autism from certain things. You you hear it a, it a lot, like you get it from certain things that happen as a kid, you get it from vaccines, you, certain diets help with your autism, uh, certain diets make you act different. You hear it all the time. To me, that is uh, intrinsically offensive. The fact that they're saying that you as a person changed at one point in your life from being normal and good to being weird and autistic. It's the same thing as saying uh, that you have a problem. Like there's something about you that can be fixed, that there's a cure because you have a, a sickness. And I, I, I just don't like the way it feels, like it tastes bad in my mouth. Uh, I don't like thinking of myself as someone who has Asperger's. I like thinking about myself as an individual who has some traits that are being put in the classification of Asperger's. You wouldn't classify a blind person as a blindy because they got blind at one point. Sure, they can be born blind, but it, it's not who they are. It's a trait of their physical aspect or whatever. Uh, first, I'm going to give you some opinions about the topic of my own, and then I'm going to give you some facts that I have gathered. First of all, autism is hereditary, which means that if your parent has it, you more more likely than not have some form of autism. They, uh, they say that autism is 90% hereditary. I don't know what that means exactly, but they have done tests with twins, which... Uh, show that if one twin has some form of autism, the other twin almost always have some kind of learning disability. And my point with that is that if it's hereditary, then it isn't something that is caused by a certain thing, a certain event in your life. It can't be caused by vaccines if, it in, if it's in your genes. If it's in your genes, it's something that you would have gotten regardless of whatever happened to you because it's built into your DNA, right? The thing about that is that my dad is has Asperger's, I'm pretty sure. we He doesn't have a diagnosis, but we're pretty sure he has Asperger's. My brother has Asperger's and I have Asperger's. Yes, we're all vaccinated, but we all eat broccoli as well. Like, there's, there's no logical way of making correlations about anything that happened to us. It makes way more sense to say that we just had it in the genes and we inherited it. The downside to saying that is that if you have some form of autism and you have a child, you know about autism and you can tell if the child had to has autism way better than if you're just a normal person with no uh, comparisons and you have a child and you, you just don't notice that the kid has autism. Because you're just not used to the whole autism concept. Um, point is that the people with families with autism probably have kids with autism more often simply because 
they notice it more often than families without. Uh, there has obviously been tests about the thing proving otherwise. I'm just saying that uh, saying it's hereditary is probably partly because of the fact that you know they don't notice it otherwise. Kind of like how uh, people in Africa have less autism. That's probably not an actual fact. It's probably just a, a, a thing that comes from the fact that they don't have as many doctors as other countries. Uh, I countries, you know, first world countries, have more autism. Because it gets noticed more. That's not to say, though, that it isn't hereditary. Because it is. The second reason why I say that autism isn't afflicted by outside sources is because it isn't curable. There is no cure, solution, or fix for autism at all. Uh, some people say that certain diets help, but I retort that with what do you mean by help? Um, how does it... What does... Uh, what, what do you mean helps? Does it mean that you act less autistic? Because autis autism is... A series of traits that a book put on you. Uh, acting less autistic doesn't mean anything. And you can learn to act less autistic just by practice. I don't think the diets actually help. Um, I, I want to know what happens in your brain when you eat a different type of food. Like, what does a diet actually do to make you act different? Uh, apparently there are... Ways a diet helps or helps rather it changes who you are because there you know physiology and chemistry in your brain changes obviously, but it all co comes down to the point of what is <laughs> what is autism like wh what do you mean by it helps uh, a guy I asked about it said that certain diets improve the symptoms. And when you say improve the symptoms, in my head, it sounds more like the symptoms for autism get stronger. I know that it's science talk, and when he says improves, he means that the symptoms go away. But I'm, I don't feel like symptoms of autism is forms of negativity in autism. I'm not sure how much sense that made. Saying that a... a a child had no autism and then got autism based on a video doesn't quite work in my head either because you, kids change all the time. You're not the same person now as you were as a kid because that would be retarded, literally. Um, things happen in your life, experiences, and you change. There's also certain huge things in your brain that changes for all people at certain ages, you 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 undergo changes. So you you can't look at a, a child and say that the child is a certain way, and then look at it later and say that it changed because everyone changes. There's a certain thing called a theory of mind, which uh, basically says that under the age of four or whatever it is, you don't understand the concept of other people have different minds than you. You don't understand the concept of your thoughts is not other people's thoughts. There's a experiment called the Sally Ann test, uh, where you explain to a child at a certain age the story of uh, Sally and Ann have a cookie, and they uh, Sally rather has the cookie. Sally hides the cookie under a basket, and then leaves the room. Meanwhile, Anne takes the cookie from the basket and puts it under a box. Then Sally comes back into the room and you ask the child, where does Sally look for the cookie? And most kids under the age of four will say that Sally looks under the box because that's where the cookie is. Whilst most grown-ups and most kids over the age of four will say that she looks under the basket because that's where she left the cookie. The kids under four doesn't understand the concept that Anne is a different person. And what she did when Sally wasn't in the room is something that Sally can't experience. Point about that story is that 
at the age of four you change so drastically that you anything you did before age of four would be laughably compared to anything you did after. So how can you say that when you're here you have this traits and when you're here you don't? Point is, auti- you might have autism as a child. That's what I'm saying. You don't know. You can't look at a child and say he doesn't have autism. Uh, you can't say that you get it because of an event, because you might have had it all along. So how about some facts? Vaccines do not cause autism. At all. Uh, It doesn't. There's proof that it doesn't. Vaccines do not cause autism. There's no correlation between vaccines and autism. There's countless studies based on the thing because of claims like this, and they all show that vaccines don't cause autisms. Autism. There was like one study back in the day that has since been disproven, discredited. That study said that vaccines do cause autism, but it turned out to be not true. Autism and vaccines are not correlatable. Uh, how about diets, however? They are apparently something called a keta. Keto, ketogenic diet that might improve the symptoms of autism. Uh, high fats, low c- carbohydrate. And whilst I agree that certain diets might help you, just like how certain pills might help you deal with yourself, I still don't feel like it actually changes who you are. It more or less just changes how difficult it is for you to handle yourself, if you ask me. But there are certain diets that will, in fact, help you if you have autism. What diets those are, I can't tell, because there's apparently not enough studies based on this. There's very few studies that are 100% and straight to the point. There, there's some slight correlation be cert- be between certain things, But you can't say for certain that a certain diet is going to help you. So that's not really that helpful. So every time I hear someone say, you should try this diet, it helped me. It's kind of like saying you should try looking at it more positively, it helped me. It has the same effect on me uh, to say. Here's the bottom line. Vaccines save lives. By the millions. Uh, there's something called um, herd immunity, which basically means that if most people have vaccinations because, so that they're immune against a certain disease, but one douchebag refuses to get the vaccine, he will in fact endanger everyone around him, even if he himself doesn't get sick. You can carry around a sickness without actually having it. And if you carry it around, you will spread it to more and more people. Even if they're immune, they have a chance of getting infected. So, for every person who isn't vaccinated, there's a risk of lots of people getting sick and dying. The whole concept of vaccinations only work if everyone's vaccinated. If you're the only one vaccinated, you're still going to get sick because there's going to be too many germs coming at you. You can't be 100% vaccinated unless everyone else is as well. Because the vaccinations stop the thing from spreading from over here to over here. It doesn't stop you from getting it. Vaccinations isn't something you personally get for your own sake. It's something you get for the sake of humanity. So saying that you don't want to vaccinate your child because you think it gives him autism is douchey as hell. And that's just a fact. I just want to point that out because do vaccinate your child, do vaccinate yourself. It's not dangerous. End of story. I understand that you might be careful, like, oh, what if the kid get autism? I heard a story, um, saw a story on the news or whatever, about a girl that had a severe form of autism, couldn't talk, couldn't speak at all, couldn't communicate at all could barely move properly, and everyone thought she was plain out retarded, like, plain out couldn't, like, communicate with the outside world. 
until the day she started typing on a computer. She, she, she had seen people use computers and she was like hurt or sick and she typed on the computer health or hurt or whatever. And they were like, oh my god, she actually said something. And they forced her to type more. And they taught her to type more. And she practiced her typing. And in the end, she actually writes stuff so smart that I feel like she's more brilliant than I am. Like anything I could ever say is just dwarfed by this girl who everyone thought was retarded. It's it's like a beautiful story for me. Because it, it like just picture what's in everyone's mind. And then picture the crap that comes out of their mouths. It's not the same. Just because you have autism doesn't mean you can't have thoughts of your own and so on. Being autism, autistic isn't the end of the world. Uh, you're still worth your life. You're still a good person. You still have enjoyability in your life. You shouldn't be ashamed of your kid having autism. Which is partly why I'm making these videos. And also if... Um, you have any thoughts or ideas on the concept of Asperger's and being a picky eater, I want you to make a comment about it. Uh, the next video I'm going to make is probably going to be about Asperger's and having difficulties with food or, or being picky with food. However, I only have my own viewpoint on it. I want to get other people's viewpoint to uh, make a more informed video. So give me as much information as you can. Send me mails or whatever. And talk to you next time. Okay, bye.